Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about Keltner channels. It's my favorite technical analysis indicator for stocks, you know, because everyone needs a favorite technical analysis indicator. Here's what they look like. The middle line is the 20 day exponential moving average. The upper band is the 20 day exponential moving average plus two times the average true range. It's okay if you don't know what average true range is. We're going to be talking about it later in the video. The bottom line is the 20 day exponential moving average minus two times average true range. Keltner channels are volatility based bands set above and below the exponential moving average. I like exponential moving average better than a simple moving average because it's more sensitive to recent price changes. Keltner channels are similar to Bollinger bands. A lot of people have seen those graphs before. Bollinger bands use standard deviation, while Keltner channels use average true range to set the distance. So what is this average true range that I'm talking about? First, what is true range? True range is the max of one of the following three formulas. Current day's high price minus the current day's low price. Second, current day's high price minus the previous close. Take the absolute value of that. Lastly, Current day's low price minus the previous close, absolute value of that. Here's a graphical representation of those three formulas. First, the current high price minus the current low. Second, the current high price minus the previous close. And lastly, the current low minus the previous close. So for the true range, you know, we calculate those three formulas and then we take the highest amount. So we came up with high minus low of 344, today's high minus previous close of 480, today's low minus previous close of $1.36, and we take the 480 since that's the highest. So that's true load. How do you get to the average true load? It's simple, you just take the 20 day average of, the, of those true load numbers. How do you use these calendar channels? Well, I first learned about them from a book called Trade Like Chuck. The channel boundaries can be used to identify overbought and oversold levels for trading purposes. You can see the graph on the left, the price is above the upper band. If the price is above the upper line for long periods of time, you don't want to be buying this stock. Conversely, on the right, you can see the price hits the middle line or the bottom line. This is when you add to your position. I hope you found this video helpful. And the next video, we're going to be talking about how to create the formula in Excel. Thank you.